hello Julie here and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to share with you a tutorial on how I create this flower using my tattered or Tim Holtz tattered florals die. The um, procedure is pretty simple and I hope that you will find it easy to follow. So what we're going to need to make our flower is some pattern paper. In this case I'm using a uh, Cater Crafts Curiosity, the six inch paper pad, and the die, which is the Tim Holtz Tattered Angel, or Tattered Floral, sorry. We're going to cut three of this spiky flower and two of this larger flower here. We're not going to use these two. I'll put a link in the description box below to this die if you haven't already got it and you would like to purchase it. You will need your glue, you will need an ink cube to ink around your papers. You'll need something to wrap your paper around to shape your petals. A pair of scissors and you may want some bling to add to the center of your flower. So <clears throat> depending on how you want your flower to look, you, I did show you some at the beginning of the video and I'll put some more photos at the end of the video of the way that I've used these flowers but in this case I'm going to use this for my base and these for my center. So to start with we need to just take our scissors and trim down in towards the center on each one of our petals. You'll see that I have um, already inked around the edge of all of my flowers, just using my black ink cube. I've only done that because um, of ease, of where well, you don't want to sit and watch me do that. So once we've got that, we take our tool that we've chosen and we curl the edge of that, each of those petals around that tool. So we're folding them under as you can see, the back of this is white, so the pattern side is going to be <coughs> the top. Sorry about that, a bit of a frog in my throat here. So we'll do that for each of the petals on both of the bigger flowers. So we're just folding it under, Not doesn't have to be too much. And I've already trimmed down on this one, just to save a bit of time. I saw this uh, flower created on YouTube about 10 years ago, and I'll have a look on YouTube and see if I can find it again. And if I can, I'll put a link to the original video from the lady that made it originally. Uh, in the description box below so you can check that one out too if you like. Now these flowers um, We've got three what we're going to do with these is we're going to fold each of those petals in half So we just fold them over like that bit fiddly but um, it doesn't have to be perfect either uh, especially if you're using double sided paper that uh, makes it a bit easier but mine's white on the other side so wherever they don't line up properly you're going to see a bit of white but I'm not too fussed about that it just adds a bit of interest so we have to do this for all three of these spiky flowers now this is just the way that um, I saw it made and I'm sure that you could adapt it uh, to suit yourself. I mean, there's no reason why you couldn't go for three layers of the big flower and, you know, I probably wouldn't go any more than three layers of the top, this sec top section, because it is pretty full when it's done. But, uh, yeah, you can adjust it around to suit yourself. You could probably... Do this same thing with other dies as well if you could find where well, you could combine two different dies that don't have to be on the same die, do they? This um, card, as you can see, has got a bit of um, gloss to it, like it's got a bit of coating on it, so it make, that makes it a bit harder to fold. 
If you're not already a subscriber, I'd love it if you'd subscribe to my channel. Um, I post maybe two videos a week and they're all, all sorts of things. Uh, I do art journaling, scrapbooking, card making and a few odds and ends in like this sort of thing, how-to videos. Okay, so now that we've got those folded, we can take our curling tool once again and we're going to wrap those spiky bits around that tool so we're curling them up on top of each other then we're doing one clockwise and one anti-clockwise so they're going opposite to each other when we do get around to that other end you'll find that two of them aren't, do end up the same because there's a odd number of petals on this so if you do get confused or mixed up with which way you're curling them it's not going to be the end of the world so I might just I have to do this to all three of them and as you can see it's quite fiddly and time consuming so I'll probably fast forward over this a little bit so that you're not just sitting there watching me fumble around like this so I'll fast forward over this bit and I'll get back to you when it is done So there we have the three of them done and as you can see one of these broke off but that's not going to be a problem um, in the whole scheme of things you won't even notice it. So now I'm just going to use this uh, piece of old stubby holder and I'm going to start sticking it together. So I'm using wet glue so that I get an opportunity to move things around as I go. Um, you could use foam tape in between the layers if you wanted to but I find that this has got enough dimension without that. So now I'm going to stick these together and I'm going to stagger them on each other. And then I'm going to continue with these centre pieces and stick them in the middle of that. I'm going to try and get that centred in there. Then this one maybe on this one and then we can crunch those all up like that and we've got our flour. Now if you wanted to you could put a gem in the middle and um, have a gem so I might just do that with this one. I haven't I thought I might use one of these. It's not open so I'll use one of these instead. That's just a clear one. A little dob of glue because I don't really trust those self stick gems. Put that in the middle, push it into place, and those centre petals up a little more. And there we have our flower. So I hope you've enjoyed that um, demonstration of how to create this flower. As I said, I will put a link in the description box below if I can find the original post. Um, thank you for watching my video. Here are some photos of some other ways I've used this flower. And I hope you can join me for my next video.